Now what about imported parts? Things like GrabCAD, uh, parts that you may use from GrabCAD. So let's go open up a step file, open that into Solid Edge. And the problem with imported parts is they are featureless. Uh, some people call them dumb solids. So with synchronous technology, there's no such thing as a dumb solid. Uh, because we don't care how the part was modeled, we can add intelligence whenever we want to. So for instance, I could add a dimension to this pad and I can just change it directly because we don't care how the model was built. We're going to edit the solid directly. Notice the uh, blue face there. If I start making a change, that's the face that's going to move. If I want it to be the other side, I flip the arrow. Or I can go equally in both directions uh, and make it wider. What about these gear teeth? What if you want to change the number of gear teeth? Well, there is no pattern there to change. But with Solid Edge, we have some technology for recognizing patterns. So I simply select the faces that I want it to go investigate to see if it finds a pattern of those faces. And in fact, it instantly found a circular pattern. Not only is it a circular pattern, but three of the instances have been suppressed. That's just how powerful that command is. Once it becomes a real pattern in Solid Edge, then I can come in here and make a modification to make it have 12 teeth instead of 10 teeth. So that was a circular pattern. It will find also linear patterns or rectangular patterns. So let's come in here and just select one of those teeth. Notice that again, we get a real pattern now and Solid Edge becomes a pattern that we can actually edit. So I could make it go the length of this pad and I could also change the count to a different number of teeth. So very, very powerful functionality. Now notice that it has this little uh, raised area here. If I click on this and drag it, notice that it's only changing one side and it's not finding that it's symmetric. And that's because the entire model is not symmetric about the base coordinate system. The beauty of synchronous is because we're not going on a relying on a sketch and its location in space, you can actually select the entire solid. So let's take the design body. I'm going to strategically find the midpoint of the tooth here. And I can drag the entire solid and center it on that base coordinate system. What that does for me then, if I click on that face and start to drag it again, symmetry kicks in in the design intent and, modif and uh, maintains that symmetry for me uh, automatically. So hopefully that gives you a brief introduction of what synchronous technology means and how powerful it is uh, when it comes to modeling and editing parts uh, that you're designing or assemblies that you're designing.